five, four, three, two. It's Friday, September 14th, and it's a gold day. I'm Matthew Turner. I'm Andrew Barber. And we're this morning's WCHS announcements. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you to the Front Office Administration for starting our day with the pledge and the moment of silence. Yes, thank you very much. And Kona Ice will be on campus during all lunch on Tuesday for CMS and CHS. So Good go news. Ahead and get those. The Secretary of State Student Ambassadors will be working alongside the Young Professionals Committee through the Chamber of Commerce to provide the holiday baskets for many elderly community members. We are in the process of collecting supplies for these baskets. During the month of September, we are asking for donations of body lotion for these baskets. All donations can be dropped off with Ms. Garrett in the main office. Students will earn a stinger for each bottle of lotion donated. Thank you in advance for your charitable donations. Yes, and the Calhoun High School Key Club will have its first meeting on Thursday, September 20th at 2.45 in room CU04. If you're interested in serving our community alongside your fellow Yellow Jackets as a representative of an international service club, Come and check us out. Yeah, definitely go to that. There will be a special show of Sister Act and Musical on Monday, September 17th at 2 p.m. in the CPAC. Tickets are $5 and are being sold at the box office located near the Black Box. Sister Act is presented by the Drama Department at CHS. For questions or more information, see Ms. Gallion or Ms. Wright. I've heard it was pretty good. So I'm gonna have to yeah, the first showing was last night. I couldn't yeah. go. On, unfortunately, I'll go this weekend. All sure. right. And any student interested in attending Siege, a college and career fair, geared for students interested in computer, digital, art, graphic, or interactive entertainment careers on October 4th can now sign up for the trip, sign up for the trip and receive a permission form. Go to the CHS website and look under the Students tab for the Backpack to Briefcase Siege trip on October 4th. In the senior section of the announcement, seniors going on the Orlando trip, please be aware that a payment of $50 is due to Mr. Benham today. No. Yeah, today's the 14th. Yes. Today is the 14th. Today is Friday. It's Friday. Good job. It is Friday. Good job, Matthew. Not remembering what the date is. Today is Friday, September 14th, and you need to pay $50 to Mr. Benham. As well, another payment of $50 will be due on September 28th. If you need a payment schedule detailing when payments are due and how much payments are, then there are copies in the main office. And seniors, do your plans after high school include attending a four-year college or university? You're planning to, if you're planning to apply to a four-year college or university and you have not taken the SAT or ACT, you will not be accepted. For those seniors who have not taken either the SAT or ACT and need to test, please visit the CHS website, click on the Students tab at the top to find ACT and SAT test dates and instructions on how to sign up. College applications are open and deadlines are approaching. Do not wait. Yeah, for those. sure, get that in. If you're interested in attending a college probe fair to learn more about multiple colleges and universities, please sign up by accessing the Google form that is linked on the CHS website under Students. It can also be located on the CHS website under Senior Information. The Senior Information section is found under About CHS and then click on School Counseling. The deadline to sign up and pay $5 for the trip is September 21st. And now in sports, the Lady Jackets volleyball team swept another try match last night in a dominant Talk fashion. about dominant. Beating in Daresville, 2-0, 25-4, 25-9, and Gordon Central, 2-0, 25-12, 25-6. Scoring for Calhoun, Ashton Brzezowski, four aces, five them. digs. Callie Eden, one ace, one dig. Anna George, two blocks, four aces, 12 kills. Gosh. Mm. Anna Hobbsell, two aces, five kills, and one dig. Aaron Kelly, two blocks, three aces, three kills. Nina Marcus, two aces, three kills. Aaron Paul, one ace. Emma Kate Smith, three aces, eight kills, and one dig. Sophie Stewart, one ace, five kills, two digs. The wins push the, the girls' season record to 26-6 and 3-0 and oh in the area of play. Next match is at home on Tuesday with Harrelson County and North Murray. It's going to be another That's dominant brutal. performance. So I'm just going to yeah. go ahead and call it. For sure dominant, like always. And now, speaking of sports, over to our CHS game day crew for their take on this week's college football yeah. weekend. Hey, what's up? I'm Cohen. Uh, and I'm Clayton. And... Uh, we're going to be uh, continuing our college game day and college football picks uh, uh, for this weekend like we did last year, except yeah. I'm not bird, but we'll try. Yeah, we'll try to keep it going, though. Our top games of the week are Alabama and Ole Miss. I got Alabama in this one. Yeah, I got Alabama. Though. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a blowout. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Um, that's a bad pick. <laughs> and then, uh, the next one is Ohio State versus TCU, and uh, I'm going to pick the uh, Horn Frogs in an upset on this one. Uh, I got Ohio State in this one. I, I don't think it's going to be close on this one. Uh, our next game is USC at Texas. Ooh. 
I got I got USC in this at all, but I got a close one, but USC at the end. I got Texas for my boy Dr. McKenzie. Hook him horns, baby. I got you, Dr. McKenzie. I got you. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, and then our next one is going to be uh, Boise State at Oklahoma State. And I, I really mm-hmm. want to go against Clayton, but I can't. i got to go with Oklahoma State because Boise State's got an ugly field. Yeah, this is at <laughs> Oklahoma State. i got Oklahoma State. Uh, the biggest game of the week comes in with LSU traveling to play Auburn at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Ooh, yeah, I got Auburn in this one. Yeah, I really want to pick LSU, but um, yeah, I got it's Auburn. at Auburn. Yeah, so I, I got to pick Auburn. So, uh, uh, so who do y'all think? Uh, so who do you think can beat our picks? Um, put your predictions in the comment section below to be sure. Um, put what you think the score will be for the LSU Auburn game as the tiebreaker, and make sure you list your home room. The home room with the winning picks this week will have something special delivered by the game day crew next week. And that's all for the weekly college game day. Check back next Friday for the next uh, edition of our uh, Calhoun College Game Day. And back to Jerry and Andrew, uh, Andrew Barber. Yeah. What a delightful <laughs> sequence of picks. All right. Uh, I gonna, like that guy. I'm going to pick Auburn that's over good. LSU, too. Auburn over I'm LSU? Feeling, no. JK. I really don't know, honestly. I'm going to switch it up. I really – LSU is going to I only watch, good. like, Rhode Island School of Art and Design yeah, play yeah, college football. Other than that, don't know, don't know anything about college football. <laughs> All right, moving on to the Our CHS weather. Today is going to be a high, a high zero. of 92 degrees and a 0% chance of Look, rain. It's like How is that even it's, possible? It's, There's literally a hurricane. That's like, not even logical. Like There's, it's not yeah, hurricane, hurricane Tortilla. It's fake news. It's Florence. Gosh. This is a odd situation. I'm sick of this. The one day that we have zero percent chance of rain, there's it's literally a Category though. Four hurricane, like two seconds away from us. The problem is, it makes little degrees. to no sense. The heat wave. The, okay, the let me give wave. you guys a little lesson on meteorology. There's a heat wave. That means there's going to be rain soon. A lot of it. I actually don't know anything Thanks about the, the weather, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making that assumption. That's what I usually like happens. I like it. I like it. Having a birthday today is Abigail Chambers, Kevin Hedges, and Mason Ray. Happy birthday to Mason. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Mason, our favorite pale receiver. <laughs> happy birthday, Mason. Mason. And for everyone whose birthday was not today, have a fantastic Friday. Go Jackets.